everyone, and welcome to Tuesday's Jevon Hustle to Recap. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or recaps. This is probably the last one that's going to go up for a little bit because I have to get to work, but let's get right to it. So, Curtis and Jason on their following people adventure. So, Curtis and Jason, I don't know why I wrote Julian, get the clue that Julian said sister, and they can see the top of her head, blonde, obviously, which you know is going to throw them off. Mm hmm. And uh, could it be Ava? Probably not. So Liv put this, puts the music back on, and she doesn't care whose blood spills over this, and then tells Julian to leave. Curtis and Jason say, like, what now? <laughs> what do we do now? They, oh, my light. There we go. That's why it looked all weird. Anyway, they think Ava Jerome is responsible for the bomb. Uh, Liv looks outside, but Jason and Curtis are gone, so they are under the radar. But something doesn't add up to Jason. Ava just doesn't seem right, and it doesn't make sense. It couldn't be Ava, but Curtis thinks it's 100% Ava, so seriously, what now? At General Hospital, Liz comes in, and Felix is there, and she tells him that her and Frank are together. Michael wants to double-check the numbers, and neither him nor Hayden want to cut staff, and Amy comes around the corner. Of course Amy comes around the corner. So Amy wants to talk like besties, and now she wants to talk about the board meeting. What business is of hers? And they say they're looking at several options and Amy tells Elizabeth things aren't okay to ask Hayden so Hayden asks Elizabeth how things are and Elizabeth quickly turns it into a talk like to talk about jobs and she thinks Hayden's doing these job cuts maliciously and she will fire Elizabeth because she had said that before but Hayden says things are different now and Elizabeth thought she had more compassion after everything she's been through and Hayden says that she doesn't want to cut staff but it may be the only way to save the hospital uh, Hayden says that she doesn't oh, want to cut staff. She says it a lot. <laughs> and they're all great, but the hospital needs to get out of debt. At Crimson, Maxie's at work. Nina's going on and on about something, and Maxie's not talking. Uh, she has a problem. Yeah, Nina and Valentina are keeping her best friend away from her daughter. So Nina's like, well, you've only heard one side of the story. But I feel like that's not true because Nina's explained it to them a million times, but Nina only sees what she wants to see. Mm, okay, I've internalized it, um, and Nina is working under the Lulu filed for sole custody. She doesn't know that Lulu then wanted to do this shared custody, and Valentine turned her down, but whenever. And she traumatized Charlotte, and she's selfish, and, you know, she only sees Charlotte as property. Really? She, she... And Nina says that that's no way to raise a child. Yeah, I agree, Nina. And that Maxie's taken aback, and Nina wants what's best for Charlotte, and Maxie says it's better to compromise, and now Charlotte wants nothing to do with Lulu, uh, but Maxie backs Lulu completely, and Nina backs Valentine completely, and Nina wants to agree to disagree, and they shouldn't talk about Charlotte, and Maxie doesn't know if that's possible. So then Nina's like, look, you're my sister-in-law, and we work together, and like she's almost crying, and she doesn't want Maxie to leave, so Maxie's going to try, but she's definitely not herself. So Nina gets a call from Mrs. Evans, family emergency, and she's bringing Charlotte to Crimson. So this plan worked out great. Uh, so Charlotte's there, and Maxie's just watching Nina with Charlotte, and then Nina gets an important call. So Maxie talks with Charlotte, and Nina has to meet with the advertiser right now because she's starting to pull ads. Uh, at Sunny's place, Nell is finding the perfect place to plant the bra and commits the deed and leaves. Carly and Sunny are talking about Michael and all his work and stress and now all this work he's taking on with the hospital. And Nell's going to put the forms with the other forms in Carly's office. So it's not like she's going to stay there and like do stuff. Uh, so they're looking forward to their future and they were going to head upstairs. But Jason sneaks in and he does have information. He says that it's nothing concrete and Carly's going to leave. So Jason says that he couldn't see the woman's face and the music was playing and Jason says they're getting close to like who planted the bomb and Sunny says he can tell he's holding back. At the Metro Court, Alexis is the consultant Diane sent to help Lulu and Dante with their custody battle. Um, Lulu gives the background. She says she would uh, agree to shared custody, but it's off the table now. Uh, she wants to make Charlotte feel less alone, and she told her she's her mother, and now she wants nothing to do with her. Alexis says the judge will take Charlotte's conception into um like, you know, into, into their opinion. I know that's not the right word, but like, I can't, I can't come up with it. I couldn't come up with it even when I wrote this. Uh, so Alexis says Valentine needs to play defense, you know, bring up his marriage. Maybe he's trying to manipulate the court and, you know, Hey, have a viable case. They have a viable case. Um, they don't, uh, see Charlotte without Valentine's permission. Uh, she needs to make it fully clear. She has Charlotte's best interest at heart. Alexis has to leave. And then Julian comes in 
immediately talks with Alexis. They talk about meetings. He's glad she's going to them. And Julian's meeting with some sketchy dude. And sketchy dude says the hospital asked for an extension. And he had to go with it because he didn't have, any, ever, he didn't have anyone to talk with. Um, also at the Metro Court, Michael comes in. He and Nell talk. He's really bothered by the GH budget cuts. But it might be too late to save the hospital anyway. Um, you know, all he wants to do is give back. And now he feels like he's causing more damage. Uh, Carly comes in and she has Nell's flowers. And now end scene. So Hayden is crunching the numbers again. Uh, nothing is working. The nurses are saying that reducing nurses will affect patient care. Felix is ready to call the union and go to war. And it reminds me of something Sabrina would have done, to be quite honest with you. Uh, Maxie's watching Charlotte. Uh, Dante assures Lulu that it's all going to be worth it in the end. Lulu gets a call from Maxie and tells her to come to Crimson. So... I can only imagine how that's going to go. A sketchy dude can't assure Julian that there will be a sale of the hospital. And he says, uh, Julian says to up the offer, you know, make the deal go through. Julian calls Liv uh, and says, you know, he motivated his guy. Carly apologizes to Michael. Um, and Michael tells her Jocelyn snuck a peek at the card before he could stop her. What it say? Ha ha ha. Um, that mystery boyfriend has the initial S. Uh, Jason doesn't give Sonny any hard information. Sonny calls Brick. He wants to hear everything Jason and Curtis found because the equipment has a remote feed. And that is it for Tuesdays. Uh, so I will be uploading the rest of them tonight uh, as soon as I get home from work. And I will see you uh, tonight for more General Hospital. Okay, bye.